All right, let's do this again. Welcome to Off the Press, the newspaper review program here on Plus TV Africa. And with me to take a look at the papers is our in-house uh, public affairs analyst, Dr. Femi Do Adegoke. Happy Christmas. Same to you. <laughs> I can see you're dressed in the Christmas apparel. Yeah, well, it's Welcome. <laughs> Good to have Good you today. Morning. Good morning. So let's go straight into the business. We'll begin this morning with the Punch newspaper. And the Punch newspaper says, the big story, let's start with the big story. It's, uh, I'm ready to continue with my trial. That's according to Dasuki. Interesting. On page pages 2 and 20, what happened in 1985 coup was destined by God. Still him saying, Manami opens defense at Dis disciplinary committee uh, January 22nd. And then let's go to the other stories here, which is Southwest State set for operation Amotekun. Amotekun, which you said translate as leopard. Yes, leopard. Uh, so it takes off in January the 7th on page 2 there. And if you like, call me Babago Slow, says Buhari. Okay, that's on pages 10 and 11. Find out why he's saying that. And World Bank warns uh, CBN against support for undercapitalized banks on page 28 of the Punch newspaper, which is up for review. And a down path there, there's uh, picture stories of, um, you know, I just had the Ogun Street there, the Victoria Island, that uh, uh, decoration by Zenith Bank, very beautiful decoration there, we can see the picture story. And then we see celebration, children having a great time, that's what uh, the Christmas day is about. So anyways, then Lagos Assembly wants cooking gas sale regulated on page 34. Police launch manhunt for Lagos Buru the change operators killer on pages four and five. And Oshomole rejects Obaseki's Christmas gifts as crisis wages. That's on page seven. Where do we begin this morning? Well, let me... let's start from um, the, the big, rejected uh, gift. The okay. big screamer. Okay. Says, I'm ready to continue, continue with, with my, my trial. trial. That's okay. Hmm. Well, Nambu, uh, Sambu Dasuki, uh, I'm happy for him, happy for his family. After four years. After four years, he's back there. And uh, in the story, he actually stopped attending court. Mm, yeah, proceeding. because he said uh, for as long as the DSS are holding him against the court orders mm. that have granted him bills over mm. time, he's not going to attend court before he's released. But now he's saying he has gained his freedom. So he was now willing they obeyed to... the court order. Mm -hmm. Now he's ready for the trial. So he knows now, okay, I will hear whether I will get fair trial or not. Or not. But mm. at least let's go to it, which is, is good. Mm -hmm. And then under it, uh, what he's saying that... He said, what happened what, in 1985? Yeah, he, uh, he mentioned that in 1985, he was part of the coup that unseated our present president. Mm. But he was a military man. I agree with what he said there. He had to do what he had to do then. Mm -hmm. He was a military man then. So... I don't see. I don't. I don't think even they held him against that. Mm -hmm. I feel the government should get more competent lawyers to push their cases when it comes to cases like this. Like this. Dasuki was the NSA for the last administration, and there were some misappropriation of finance mm -hmm. under his watch. So he should actually be called to answer. But you don't hold him against court orders. Mm -hmm. And let me quickly say here. Uh, congratulations to Nigerians because we didn't keep quiet. Mm -hmm. We kept talking about it, even though it took the international community to come to write a letter before our government mm -hmm. uh, listened. But well, at least there's a role that the Nigerian people pay, uh, yes. played actively. Yes, mm. and the fact that we're saying we're coming together to say that we're not going to accept dictatorship. We're not going to accept the breakdown of law and order mm. from the ruling class. Mm. I mean, it's a, it's a good point that you've made there because um, over time you notice that things go the way they go because we've not been able to yeah. take a stand. You yes, know? But if quiet. the pressure, if you keep putting you know, pressure on them and bringing it to the public uh, face, yes, something apparently will be done. Yeah. And I agree with you. So, okay, so um, what else? Obaseki, Oshomala rejects Obaseki's Christmas gift. In fact, one of the papers told us uh, split what they are. <laughs> yeah. uh, four cows, ten bags of rice. Well, the Edo State crisis, mm -hmm. is, it keeps unfolding like an onion every day. We are seeing different layers to yes, it. Yes, like an onion. You peel and you see new things every day. Well, it's a tra I'm sure it's a tradition, normal practice for the governors to give gifts mm -hmm. to their political leaders. And their, 
But because they say That's a share love, isn't it? A yeah, yeah, but there's, but there's, there's, a, there's a father and son uh, dispute here. Mm -hmm. So the father is saying, your gift is not worthy. That's a shame. And I've always said to people that the adult crisis is not for the people. Mm. It's personal. And which is it's killing our uh, institutions. Mm. It is not about the person. It should be about the institution. It should be about the office of the governor, the office of the party leader, or the office, the people. That's what it should be. Mm -hmm. So, but where it's becoming clear that the problem is between Obaseki and Oshomole, mm -hmm. and then it's going to rub off on the, the people. people. Sadly, because when two elephants fight, it's the, the grass suffers, suffer, yeah. yeah. Okay, so we'll move on from that uh, story. Any other thing? Uh, wh why would Buhari be saying, if you like, call me Baba Goslu? I thought there was a president sometime that we that was um, referred to as <laughs> that, but... Well, well, from the beginning, when Buhari came in in 2015, there were different names because of his um, slow reaction to issues or perceived non-response. Perceived. Yeah, perceived non-response. I always say that I, I personally, Buhari as a person, I like him, but in oh, governance... Oh, good to hear that. Yes, I'm but sure in, you'll be happy. No, but in governance... I don't think he's the best for Nigeria. Mm. So I've never supported his governance system because he's just a man who he finds it hard to operate under or within the tenets of the constitution. Mm. He's been a, a military man. So that's why he's saying you can call him Baba Goslo because he doesn't even understand the constitution to a large extent. Mm. I'm afraid that's the strong word to use. We'll leave, we'll, we'll go away from that paper in the interest of time and go to uh, the Sun newspaper. I believe they'll be able to project it. Uh, uh, very soon there on the screen. And again, it has the same story we just finished talking about. Oshomele rejects, uh, you know, gifts from Obaseki. That story, thank you, is displayed on your screen. It's on page 40. And then we have uh, PH-bound aircraft makes air return to Lagos after sudden fault. On page 2, that's scary. And then anger over attack on Jonathan's home. You know, that's a uh, son's big story. And it's, again, it's on page 10. It's a national shame, says uh, Benue governor as uh, Silva and Leon task security agents to arrest perpetrators. And we can see just beneath that um, is a picture story of some children who are having a great time, really. That's what Christmas is about, isn't it? Uh, having some celebration there. Uh, I hope history will be kind to me. President says on page six, we can only hope with uh, Mr. President. And Buhari not my enemy, according to Dasuki. Pressure from Nigerians forced uh, federal governments to free ex NSA and Shawore, according to Autumn, the Benue State Governor, on page six. Now, third term, follow no replies presidency, says agenda kicked off September on page eight. Christmas president holds to Shibajo Khan and FCT resident. Elza Zaki's Shiites group attends church service, presents gift. That's an interesting gesture there. Why would that uh, happen? Anyways, the story is on page nine. And where do we begin? Well, I'll start from the security. Mm -hmm. um, I, that's, I, like I was saying earlier on, I have issues with this administration because mm -hmm. everything they came with that they were going to do, they have failed. You mean everything or oh, well some were they, accomplished they, they and some They think they campaign on the campaign on corruption, anti corruption. Mm -hmm. We don't know how far they've gone. We the have promised not to bring you change. No, we have, we have, but was the there change? change? The question we we failed to ask then was what type of what change? What sort of change? Yeah, because change <laughs> change could mean anything. Mm -hmm. So they must have brought us some kind of change that we have seen now. Anyway, mm -hmm. but the likes of security was very paramount in their campaign tool. But really, for the, the some quarters claim it was not his uh, Jonathan's house, the former president's house, mm. that it was nearby. But he sent something down, a message down mm. to the commoners. He near or the house, or house or or actual the, house, of yes, of the former, former president, president, at which a soldier that was, was killed uh, was killed at the security post. So, what is the fate of a common man? of an average Nigerian, mm. and which explains how insecure our country has become. We have banditry, we have kidnapping, we have Boko Haram. Uh, there's one story in the paper now, Boko Haram struck yesterday again mm. in some community. In the, in the, yeah. Yes, in the Northeast. So, and a few weeks ago, we heard that uh, Boko Haram is no longer in Nigeria. That was, there was a conflict between the, uh, the governor of the state and the military 
uh, arm of government. So they, 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 the military were claiming they've been able to chase Boko Haram out of the country. Completely? But, yeah, but or the technically? Governor, but the governor has been proven right now because he said then that some... Elements of it are still there. Yeah, are still in some communities. And we've seen that. Mm -hmm. So the security is very... I Quite think a challenge. He worry, like, there's something that says that history, we... He says he hopes... He hopes uh, history. history will be kind to him. Yes, I personally... I expected, even though I didn't believe in the administration, mm. but being a, an ex-military man, I expected him to do more when it comes to security because of his past records, what he's mm. done while he was a military man. But um, I'm, I must say, personally, I'm disappointed. They have not done well mm. in the security aspect. It's unfortunate, really. And I hope that the perpetrators of this act, you know, of... Um, uh, those who went to the former how many, president's How many place. have we seen? How many have I mean, they brought? But this one, not because of the person who's involved, but, you know, anyone who's involved, any case that has to do with a threat to life I'm should let, be, let, let me quickly you know, remind you. attended to. I agree with you, but let me quickly remind you. We had a judge kidnapped in Abuja. We had a judge kidnapped in Ondo State. Hmm. So he's coming home now, ex-president. It's worrying. He's being kidnapped. Mother, the mother of somebody was kidnapped as well. Mm. Highly placed somebody was kidnapped as well. So he's coming home. And, he, and we can see it that we don't have security. It's unfortunate, uh, but we hope that we can only say let the needful be done. All right, so away from that story, basically, uh, Falona replies, President, Buhari not my enemy. I, I listened to that. How, how do you respond to that? Uh, that's Dasuki saying, well, yeah, he has no field against him. Yeah, really. Like I said, it shouldn't, Buhari shouldn't be his enemy. It was not held by Buhari. Even though wow. we know Buhari is every, the box stop as his table, mm. but it was held by the system. Oh, it was held by the system. It was held by the DSS. Okay. Against uh, the court orders. I will, we will move on. We shall proceed yeah, to you, the you nation. You will see what I've said <laughs> now in this paper. Okay. Yeah. So it, we'll go to the nation newspaper. Um, Christmas Pope defends migrants uh, and he seeks for peace. That's on page 10 of the nation newspaper. Nigeria's wider circulate. Oh. Sorry, as exactly Shiite group attends church service. That's on page 39. And the other paper, uh, the Sun newspaper, uh, pointed out that they even presented a gift. Um, Oshomale rejects Obaseki's cow rice gift on page 10. Also, Edo APC, it's poisonous. Well, how Buhari was swayed to release Showare and Dasuki. I'm ready for trial. That's uh, Sambo said. Ohanaze used sick release of Biafra agitators as well. That's on the front page, but it's continued on page eight. And government pays uh, varsity teachers despite shunning payroll. Okay. And um, RMA FC recovers 75 billion naira from revenue collecting agencies. Somalu commutes death sentence for three to life imprisonment that's on page six okay so what are your thoughts on this uh, Elsa Zaki's uh, visit well Elsa Zaki I mean his shite group not him yeah the group attended church service isn't it noble <laughs> I mean okay. well, yes. just looking at it from the face value yeah when you look at the just, face value you know, of it it seems yeah it should be... It's quite unlikely. Yeah. Mm. I don't even know where to place it. I don't, mm. One, I can't phantom why they did that. But in the spirit of uh, the season we're in, well, maybe they have in their own holy books, maybe they have a belief in the birth of Christ. Mm -hmm. Then they decided to celebrate. Oh, well, it could yeah. also be an extension of, you know, um, peace. You yes. Know? It could be a peace... Because we're in, yeah, we're in the season of love, so it's, they're sharing the love with Christians. Okay. So that's fine. All right, so let's, yeah, we'll, let's, hope, let's hope it's not going to go more than that. Well, if it goes more than that in terms of the path that they are towing, it's positive. Yeah, no, let, let's hope it's not going to go more than that in negatively. Okay, so if it, it goes more than that positively, it's yes, welcome. Yes, why not? <laughs> it's welcome. Yeah. That's what we're praying for, one nation, yeah. one people. All right, so. Uh, Albuari was swayed. Mm -hmm. to release. In that story, it was said that for four years, Bwari, or for as long as Dasuki has been there, mm -hmm. four Bwari, years, was, right. Bwari was only listening to the reports of DSS. Okay. So and what changed? 
maybe other people came to it, but personally, mm. I felt the president became more aware of what was going on. And then let us not lose sight of what the wife has been saying, that there are people mm. who are shielding our husband away mm. from even the happenings on ground. She has said that times without number, mm -hmm. that there is a cabal. Mm -hmm. And then now, this is coming out now, how Buari was swayed. How was he swayed? Other people from the story, other confidants came in. And then I felt the uh, Attorney General, mm -hmm. the Malami, must have given some rep uh, stand. Because I know Malami is a long-term ally mm. of uh, Mr. President. He must have taken this upon himself because he actually took over Shores' case. And then Falano came out and told him his responsibility, which mm. he denied that he doesn't have such powers. But suddenly he found out that he had the powers. Mm. So what, what, are we, what are we seeing now is that our president might not necessarily be aware of what is going on. And that should be a concern for Nigerians. Mm. But just like you said, um, I think I want to agree with you when you say uh, he bec because of the pressure, because of the amount of uh, you know focus on that story, yeah. it's also possible that you know awareness is created yeah. in such a way that it becomes almost paramount. You cannot do yeah. without paying attention, so yeah. to speak. All right, so we'll go to the last paper of the day, which is a daily trust. Again, it's Dasuki is Oshomele, which we've already handled. IPPIS will address all varsity's official peculiarities, according to AGF. That that story is on page 17 of the Daily Trust newspaper. And then 60 years after, uh, 40 Dadinkoa hydropower ready for inauguration. And that's the big story for Daily Trust. You can see pictures. 60 yeah. years after. 60 years after. That's a long time anyways. Hmm. But, um, well, there's progress. It may, it may have been slow, but... That's not progress. Uh, you, could say, you could say, well, I, I know what you mean. <laughs> I, I know what you mean. But did you see anything positive? Yes. Would we want it to be faster? Absolutely. No, I don't even think you it's know. positive. It's not about... Why not? The challenge with the power in Nigeria, I've said it in some fora. Uh, been. The main challenge in our power sector is absolute decentralization of it. Mm -hmm. And if we don't do that, we're not going to get anywhere. That's one. Mm -hmm. Then two, we're generating 40 megawatts. 40 megawatts is meg compared to what Nigeria needs. Mm -hmm. Presently, we have power plants with a capacity of about 11,000 megawatts. And we're only able to generate 7,000. Mm -hmm. And we're only able to distribute 4,000 plus, which tells you there's something fundamentally wrong in that system. Mm -hmm. The grid that we have must be of like 60 years old. And we heard semen is around now. Mm -hmm. They're trying to revitalize that. Yeah. So this, this is, for me, it's, it shouldn't even make the news. Well, it's in the news and on the front page. For 60 years, so maybe more for 60 years we've this. been on 40 megawatts. You are not impressed. Power. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> now, higher institutions abandon mandates for revenue on page 29. Army arrests 86 suspects in southeast and Cross River on page 36. And um, border closure saves poultry industry 50 billion naira in four months. And that story is on page uh, 27. So, um, well, do you want to intervene on the IPPIS because we've talked about this one and then all the border closure? Well, on the IPPIS. Mm -hmm. Because the other story held that uh, um, university, the federal government paid, she paid yes. in spite of We, you know, we the must tussle. comment. Well, well, let's, you know, I've been following that case mm -hmm. and I, I was on this. for quite a while. Yeah, and I've been on the side of the government because we want process, mm -hmm. we want transparency, we want and accountability. accountability. And then ASU not complying. And then some, some ASU combined. members began to register on IPPIs, and the federal government threatened that uh, they won't get their salary. But we must commend the federal government mm -hmm. for what they've done. Fair enough. Yes. That, Fair okay, enough. Let's keep dialoguing. Let's keep discussing. Mm -hmm. You get your payment. They had not gone the draconian way. 
So we must commend it. Yeah, so that. dialogue is always, I mean, yeah. the dialogue is always better than, yes. you know, uh, the other way around of saying you must do this. Or But yeah. if there's a conversation, they must come to a middle ground. Yes. I mean, this, like they say, uh, virtue stands in the middle. Yeah. yeah. And so border closure, this is good news. I mean, border closure saves poultry industry 50 billion in four months. So should we just leave it till yes. March? No, no, we... <laughs> the we, president said it's going to be open in, December, in January. No, but... Yesterday, I believe the before yesterday news was that they don't know. That's what Eric Bashala, the Minister for Interior, said. Mm. They don't know which day the border closure will be open. Uh, open. So but the truth is that we've said it on this forum severally that the border closure is a two-edged sword. Mm -hmm. And this could be the plus for it. True. But the truth is that Nigerian border is still porous. And like... Um, I think it was Mr. Bolaologi who said it. It was just a stopgap, a mm, knee-jerk reaction. Yeah. yeah, it was a knee-jerk reaction. And that cannot, is not sustainable. Mm -hmm. So what are we putting in place? It's good. For that long our term. Yes, our, it's good that our local uh, farmers, local production is enjoying the moment. Mm -hmm. But what is in place now, if the border, because you can't close your border forever. True. And when the border gets open and then there's nothing mitigating factor, no structures on ground to support these people enjoying the boom Benefits. now. Mm -hmm. And then we're we'll back to, to square, square one. one. We're back to square zero. Mm. We'll, we'll be worse than one. Mm. So that, I think the government needs to look at the process system for the border. Mm -hmm. Because we read that we have over a thousand borders mm -hmm. that is porous in Nigeria. Yeah, so in terms of uh, what we need is to see a long-term yes, sustainable uh, process. solution. Meanwhile, yeah. I didn't see much of local rice during this Christmas. Is it just me? No, I saw, I saw local rice. Did you, did yeah, you eat I saw, any local? I saw. No, some did of these local rice have been around before now. Okay. Like they lack, They're more refined, maybe? Yeah, some of them are becoming more refined. Okay, so probably uh, it's... Yes, and then I, I will take me back to some states, mm. state governments, the governors. I am aware of Lagos with Kebi, mm. Lake Rice. Lagos has a massive uh, rice milling plant, and Kebi has a plant, mm. where, has a farm. And so Lagos, they have a sharing formula, mm. which is Lake Rice, which is available. Even though the marketers claim is the price is, Varies. is not really different mm. compared to imported because of the transportation. Oh, okay. That's well, what some people are. In all yeah, of those. But I, I don't want to mention the name of... Uh, I've, yeah. I've seen a couple of... Uh, Local local rice. Rice okay, well, yeah. it's good to hear that. Yeah. And um, thank you so very much, Femi, for coming, You're as welcome. always. And this is where we are going to wrap it for today on Off the Press. We'll continue at the same time, uh, Monday to Friday, here on Plus TV Africa. I am Amaka Okoye. Have yourselves a great day.